Hey, hey, happy November 10th to you all. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the technique I use to build this Ryan Blaney Tarket um, car. I've done this a couple times. This is for you, William. And um, I do some pre painting, but I want to show you in this video uh, my pre painting of the actual decals. And um, I think I showed this in part of an earlier video, maybe a few months ago. But I want to show you um, how I do it in this video. So what I have is a perfect match paint to the decal, which is actually pretty rare. I mean, I can match the white and the and the and the black, but actually to match a, uh, a an off color is pretty rare. And I've done that through um, just some trial and error, to be honest with you. So that tarquette there. This Valspar is a terrific match, okay? It's, um, I know it's got a color on it, but it's paint and primer in one. It's that color. I, it's actually darker. I've written some notes on here. I use it for the Reynolds Wrap cars. I built a 1951 Hudson Horton a few years ago. But this color is a terrific match to uh, this Tarquette Blue. So let me show you how I do it. And... Yeah, so kind of shaking this up. I've got a paper plate over here, and this is this is the process, right? It's not that complicated. Spray here, get some of that flowing. Close this up. Get my applicator. and go to town just get a little bit on there right and I kinda just color right along the edge here and the reason why this is a perfect match is because this paint is actually it's not really a gloss paint it's a um, it's kind of a um, what do you call it a, a satin kinda of paint so it doesn't like really gloss it up like the black but what this will do is this will cover the um, uh, the little edges where we have the seams between the decals, okay? And sometimes those seams involve, you know, a little bit of the of the uh, edge of the decal, so you can see the seam much easier, and it doesn't look as good. This to me just makes the hides those seams and makes the car look that much better as a final product and as I've said before that's the goal right that's that's what this channel is all about me showing you how I create these customs and um, I'm after the well don't drop your applicator on the floor <laughs> um, all right, it looks clean. I didn't see it pick up any fuzzies. I'd like to say five second rule, but that doesn't really apply in this business. It's got to be clean. So, okay. All right, so I've done the I've done the hood decal. Now let's get this. Now I'm just going to go across here. I'm not going to do the sides because the sides are not. That's a straight edge that goes up against the yellow. This is what will go up against some pre-paint on the car. I gotta be careful here. I don't want to cover that 12 up. So and I'm just gonna go across the top here a little bit. Again, trying to be careful. I don't want to cover up the black grill. So yeah, so let's go across here. Go. And yeah. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see here. Okay. 
see how I'm just getting those edges. All right, so let's look at this. So here's, and I, you know, I've cut all this stuff out, so make this video a little shorter so I don't show all that stuff. But you can see this is where the little piece here goes along. This will match up with the hood decal. Careful here. Like so. Come along here like this. Like that, yep. Now let's flip this around. Oh yeah, do you see this? Thanks Billy for the band-aid. I was drilling out some cars earlier and um, <sighs> let's just say um, yeah, I slipped. Cut my finger again. So and maybe I need to make myself like a little <laughs> little pad or something to protect this area of my hand. <laughs> but I had some good blood flowing. Yeah, it was, that was interesting for sure. Cut, you know, cut it, cut it nice. You know, I, you know, it, it's it's no fun when you just do like a little cut, right? That's nothing. You know, you're gonna cut yourself. Do it right. <laughs> All right, so got that. I don't need blue around the this bottom piece there. But I do want blue here, and my paint's starting to get a little dry here, so I gotta be careful. Um, let's go along here and across this bottom. And again, I'm gonna need to pre-paint the car in these areas just to make sure I got full coverage because I don't want the I don't want the yellow showing up. So that's that. So again, the, the the satin finish for the paint is really good because, um, you know, it just doesn't have that high gloss to it. And these decals are not really high gloss, right? Until you gloss them up, uh, they, you know, they're kind of just a, I don't say a dull finish, but they're, they're kind of that, you know, satin finish. They're not a matte finish. And then um, you add the gloss to it later with the, with the product so whether the X22 or whatever so I'm just curious if I have enough on my brush tip to do the rest of this this is the last piece I'm afraid I don't because it's getting a little tacky all right so I gotta spray a little bit more hold on just a second Just a little bit. There we go. So yeah, guys, um, if you saw some of my auctions on eBay, I mean, I had that, you know, that Kyle Larson truck went for $127. I had that Harvick um, Grave Digger Monster Jam car went for a hundred dollars, and then I had that most recent um, Kurt Busch uh, Las Vegas win with the green LED, you know, go for eighty-one dollars. So costs are going up. I mean, my selling price is going up. I mean, I, I pay close to 13% to eBay, uh, so that's kind of crazy. But um, if you guys get good at making these customs, you can make some money. You know, you can make some money, no, no doubt about it. And my regular selling price here is, um, you know, 30 bucks as a request. And so, when it comes to, um, sometimes you get those rare cars and you put them up for sale on eBay, you get a true auction going, that, yeah, you know, the prices can go pretty crazy. So, um, anyways, um, my encouragement to you is to, to go that extra mile and try to make the best customs that you can possibly make. 
and you'll get the you know you'll get the rewards for it in time so um, yeah this is where I'm at with this car and getting ready to decal I'm gonna let these things dry right get the paint dry probably for a good I don't know half hour hour or so and then I can start um, decaling it and then I'll do some pre-painting right I need to do some pre-painting around these uh, headlights and I'll do some pre-painting where the side decals here match up back here because this is this is short you can see it's a little short here a little short on this side so I need to make sure that those line up but yeah it's coming along pretty well this particular one I've got let's see what else I got for you William I'm working this one you can see the, the Blaney Darlington here this one back here got the red rims rocking lower valence red spoilers red um, yeah I'm gonna get the decals around it and yeah this is looking sharp so far so good with this one 2015 uh, Alessandro here's um, here's the OTC 360 as you can see I'm I'm, I'm still working and I got to do the front end here um, I've got a uh, right now I'm in the process of painting this lower valence here green and trying to um, I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker and I'm gonna try to get that done and then I'm gonna put the decals on the front some of them cut out the the strip here the white strip here lay them across here where these seams are but um, got it all JB weld put together last night so it is um, it is coming along uh, should definitely be done here in a couple days on this thing so pretty happy with it uh, so far what else do I have going um, let's see I'm gonna do this I have some of these older decals, or not older decals, but just decal sheets laying around uh, that I've had requests from in the past. And this was a 2017 William Byron number nine on the Xfinity side, uh, the Exalta. Uh, this had like a light gray um, uh, background. I may do something different. I may do a silver. I may do white. I don't know. I may do all black. I don't know. I, I'm just going to play around with it this Duracoat products on the hood and so I don't know I just figured I'd throw that in there and do it and use this as a donor car for it which is pretty close to what <laughs> what that car is although this has Vortec uh, on the on the um, on the hood there so um, yeah you can see that if I make this car it's not really gonna be too desirable because you know you, you can buy this car so and this is a this decal sets a pretty close um, uh, replica to it but so if I wanna if I wanna try to get you know some interest in it I'll try a different color or do something crazy along those lines so anyways I got some of those decal sheets laying around so every once in a while I'll do one um, I have a request a couple crest uh, requests for these Kyle Busch, uh, number 75, special uh, car that he drove on the 75th anniversary for M&M's. Uh, so, got a couple of these to make per request. I had to buy um, some of these bodies, these 2015 Toyota bodies. These are, these are not easy to come by. Fortunately, I found uh, some of them for sale on eBay kind of low quality when it comes to a lot of the donor cars I work with these are some of the worst lowest quality cars that I deal with and be honest with you <laughs> when I was drilling when I was drilling this out that's when I drilled myself it slipped off one of these small posts and went right through and caught me right there so um, I don't really like working with these but uh, it is what it is for the 2015 2016 Toyotas to those I'm gonna do another all lives matter car and I'm debating debating with myself what color to do so I did a white one and I'm debating what I should do you guys have any ideas uh, let me know but I was actually thinking of doing either a blue one with my um, 
custom chrome blue or maybe do a um, a red one with my colored chrome red or do a silver one I, I, I don't know I mean what do you guys think um, I could do another white one obviously because I, I sold that one for I think I put it for a buy it now 35 and it sold pretty quickly so I'm just curious um, what you guys think so let me know in the comments below what color you might think this would be good to do it in um, I had an idea to possibly do like one side black or the whole car white this side black because it says black lives matter this side blue because it says blue lives matter and then the rest of the car white so I don't know I mean this you know kind of the so many different options let me know what you think and um, and I'll uh, and I'll, I'll consider it I guess at the end of the day <laughs> I won't say I'll do it but I'll consider it I have another Chase Elliott stickers um, one to make from uh, James he sent me some of these Chase Elliott uh, sticker cars uh, this is a Mountain Dew whiteout so I'll make it white it's pretty obvious uh, what to do there so um, I'll uh, I'll be working that one here probably do the same thing put it in the uh, Chase um, Elliott um, NASCAR Authentics blister pack like I did the other one and then I've got a request for another one of these Pennzoil Platinums of Joey Logano so I'll do that here uh, shortly and I'll just use this Joey Logano Auto Trader car um, I'll have to swap out these rims because I'm not doing orange rims it'll be a regular black rims so that's what these rims are here for and I'll save those orange ones for something else so alright guys that's all I got for you today hope you're doing well uh, God bless you uh, like I said uh, today's November 10th today is the Marine Corps birthday 246 years uh, God bless all of you Marines um, I work for the Marines I'm not a Marine but um, just my heart goes out to, to, to the Marine Corps love the organization all that they stand for uh, so God bless the Marines Semper Fi and we will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.